Well, good morning, Facebook. We're back on Facebook. Uh, it is, and we're not at any secret location, although for a lot of you, this is this is a super secret location as well, because y'all know where this is. And I'm not, and I'm not telling you. <laughs> Most people know where we live. No, they don't have any idea. I'm not telling you. Uh, but anyway, um, it is, it, it's going to be back here on Facebook this morning. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, program that we did last week um, on um, being equally yoked. <laughs> it was seven days ago, a long time. A lot's happened, uh, and, uh, and I hope you enjoyed us being on location. That was that was fun. It's nice out. Yes, it was nice having. The, can't can't do today because it's raining out. <laughs> the day off and being out on the water, it was so beautiful and relaxing. It was nice, so. But can't tell you where it was. Yeah, you know, <laughs> e email me and I might, but I doubt it. It's for married people. It's for, for married. <laughs> it's, it's for married folks only. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, we want to talk about something today that um, I know is going to be a little touchy for people, especially for people who are. I want. I want. I want to start today. We are not licensed therapists. No. We are not licensed counselors. We're not. We're just going on years of uh, being, trial and error. Of uh, being married. Um, trial and error. And, and that's how people who have been married for a long time do it. Uh, at my second job, I I, um, I saw a couple who had been who were in so what were there celebrating their forty fifth wedding anniversary. Wow. And um, well, pretty soon my brother will be celebrating fifty. Oh, so we so so we were talking, we were joking, and. And all the things that we talk about here and, and, and joke about are absolutely, you know what, he says it's absolutely true. All, almost all of it, absolutely true. Uh, so, that's how that's why we're coming at you today like this. Again, we're not licensed therapists, licensed counselors. If you are under the care of a licensed therapist or counselor, just do what they say. Do not go to them and say, I was watching this couple on, on YouTube and they say this. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. We are not licensed therapists. I don't want your pastor or your ther your therapist or your counselor coming on to the channel giving me grief about it. Saying that I'm practicing medicine or I'm practicing psychology um, without a license. I don't, want, I don't, I don't need that. Uh, I just don't. So anyway, uh, we're going to talk about separation. Uh, separation is something that... Um, See, I don't know. Does it seem to be fairly common? Now, I remember people getting separated before uh, when I was a youngster, but normally people are getting separated. Well, from what I understand now, it can um, the people can have legal separations mm -hmm. in a marriage where you're legally separated from this person. What's that mean? Though? But that that's my question. I mean. To me, separation during a marriage and you, you're having marital problems, unless there's abuse involved, to me, it doesn't make sense. Because it's like leaving your home saying, my home needs remodeling and repairs. So I'm going to go stay with my mama until it's repaired. But you're not paying anybody to do it. You're not... <laughs> You yeah, know, you're, you're hoping it's come, just, you're just, just hoping, hoping that... You're to come back and you got a brand new kitchen? Yes. That seems a little silly. It does. Um, but I, I don't understand how you can be separated from somebody and work on your issues. Well, and that and that's the thing. Now, I understand, and I thought about this um, after you went to bed last night, I thought about this. Now, I'm sure the counselors and the therapists will say that sometimes inside the confines of a relationship that are stuck within four walls, that it's easy to get triggered, uh, emotions get triggered, buttons and get say things buttons that get pushed, say. and then you're and then you're not calmly working out these things. Mm -hmm. That may be a, that may be a situation, but it would seem to me if that's the case, then just that is enough to let you know that maybe maybe you should really, maybe maybe you should rethink the whole thing anyway. Um, but this whole idea that I don't understand why well, somebody has to be legally separated. I guess if there are children involved or something, you have to have some kind of agreement on pay. You know, getting money from 
the spouse who the children are not with or but if who they're going to be if with. If you're still and married and you have kids, you should commonly... It would seem like if you're still married and have kids, that, you, that the, the, the basic responsibilities of being a parent would continue. That you wouldn't need some legal agreement to make you do that. You would think, but is, depending on how bad the marriage is, well, really, the, if, if they it, may not be able to communicate to each other well, about well, when they were when they were money. staying when they were staying in the house together. Did they bring food home, or they just like everybody eat out and the kids were on their own? <laughs> no. Me, and, me, and mama ain't talking. So go in there and do best you can. <laughs> I know you're only four. <laughs> Yeah, the separation thing, it, it just, I, and and I'm not going to say that we never considered that because I did. I never considered that. I know you didn't, but, and I, I, you know, there were times when I was angry enough to, if, if I had family living around, I probably would have gone there or done, some, you know, did something stupid. The idea is that if you're not, I mean, if you're, if you're not, like Debbie said a minute ago, if you're not going to be there to work it out, how you expect it to get worked out? How do you expect it to get repaired? I don't have an idea. If you don't work on it. Now, the, there are times when people are legally separated and they're going to, to marriage counselors and, you know, that are really working on it. But a lot of times... So like a lot of those celebrity people and stuff, they're just separated and... Well, they can sleep with other people. During that time, we were separated. So you made somebody else pregnant. And that makes your relationship better. What the hell? Because they're What's separated. Wrong? They're still married, but they're separated. And they're dating other people. So you get, so you get like a time out from your marriage? It can't get better if you, you're not... <laughs> you will not be married 45 years to the same person if you think you can take timeouts. You can't. You can't take a timeout. You can't be laying there and then take a tea. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I need a separation. I need... I need a year. <laughs> I need a year. I'll be back. I need a year to think over timeouts. whether I really want to be in this relationship or not. Um... It's not working for me. And that's what people say. And then they separate. And and the the sad part is a lot of a lot of those celebrity people are not living together that much anyway because they are traveling doing movies and shows in different cities and half the year they stay here and then half the year they stay there. And so they're not really together anyway, but then they get a legal separation. They want and, legal separation because they want a separation from the responsibilities. My, my thought. They want a separation from the responsibility of being accountable to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And this is usually the problem that they have. The, the problem is that they don't want to be accountable to anybody. They want to, be a, they want to live like a single person. Mm -hmm. And what they find out, and people find out is, as a married person, what you can't do first is live like a single person. In any in any aspect of your life, in any uh, any aspect of your life, can you live like a single person? And what they want to do is live like a single person, and have the coverage of of being married and being able to go back to the marriage when it's comfortable for them. Mm -hmm. And we've said this for more than a year now that sometimes marriage is not comfortable. And it's funny, I was talking with that couple, and they said, it's not for wimps. <laughs> it's Marriage not, is not for, for wimps. wimps. It's not for the selfish. It's, it just isn't. It's not this hallmark, everything is going to be fine, lovely, every single day, sort of warm, soft, focused, you know, wispy music sort of life. It just isn't. And if you... Uh, no. The it bells just, are The chiming. bells are chiming, and... You know, and, and as you walk by the store, the Christmas lights turn on automatically just because you're there. No, it's not how it is. Some Sometimes it's just grind it out every day. There it is. And if you can win by one, using a football analogy, then it's, it's been a good day. You won. You won. 
you know, you one by one. It was, you, you had to grind it out, and it was muddy, and it was cold, and you're tired, but it's you won. It's snowing. It's snowing, but you won. Some days it's snowing. Yeah, some days it's snowing. Some days it's cold. Damn. Cold you get frostbite. It's cold as Cold as um, but you Some know, days they're hurricanes. But did you win? You got to the end of the but day and, the you, end, and you won. You won. And it wasn't comfortable. It wasn't. Um, so, and I, and, I, and I think that, that a lot of people, so, and, and I don't think it's just today's culture. I'm, I'm not yelling at today's culture because people have been getting sep, you know, these separations, been separations for, for years. years. Mm-hmm. I think that, that people are, some people are just aren't built for it. Either they get bad information from the beginning or they're just not built for it. Because you got to be built for it. You have to be built for it. Or be willing to be built up for it. Be ready to change. Be ready to change. You know what? Because, like, if you don't know, I understand if you don't know, you don't know. But, um, and if you've got friends who don't know, then why aren't they watching our channel? <laughs> and why didn't you Tune tell me them? Tune me in. What, you don't like them? You don't like them, so you won't give them the information? You don't send them where the information is. Well, shame on you for not sending them here. But that, the, but the idea is that if you're not built for it, then anything you're not built for will crush you. Anything that you're not built for will crush you, even if it seems like a good thing. A job you're not ready for will crush you. A career you're not ready for will crush you. Um, prosperity that you're not ready for will crush you. Mm-hmm. A relationship that you're not ready for will crush you. And I think that that's what people get. People get in these relationships because they're they're in love with the idea of, of being in love, of being of being married. Mm-hmm. They think the idea is okay um, because that's what people do. Yeah, well, yeah, it's time. It's, it's time. time to get married. You're 27 years old. You should be married, but you're still living like a single. But you want to live like a single person. What's up, Mark? Uh, you still want to live like a single person. Well, you're not going to be able and Phil. You're not going to be able to live like a single person. You're not. You're not. Not going to be able to date. And again, that whole time out. Time out, husband. This will be a six month time out. You're not going to be able to date other people. You're not going to be able to come and go as you please. It's just not how it is. I think, and again, I think it's people people want a separation from the responsibility of the relationship. Mm-hmm. And if you want to respond, if you want to separate from from the responsibility of a relationship, you gotta stay single. Don't don't put somebody through the trials of you know a wedding and marriage and all that stuff. If you know that you you're not gonna be able to to sustain the whole trials that require are required in a marriage. Um, they, it's not, like you said, it's no, not for wimps. And I don't want to scare people because there are days when it is awesome. Yeah. It is awesome to have a partner, to be married, to be, to be loved and to love someone and have that for years and years. Sure. It's a beautiful thing. It's awesome. And then, and then you get the joys of creating somebody you know, having kids and stuff. Well, you, well, you get me married to make, make babies? You should. You should. I'm sorry. You know what? And I know a lot of you who watch. You don't, you don't are have going, to be. Are going to be all offended by this. But yeah, <laughs> it's a lot better if you do it that way. It just is. Now, I know that you love your babies and you should and you better. But you know. And your baby mamas. But and the you, baby daddies. Yeah, and all that stuff. But you should have probably done it the other way because. Not that I'm getting all preachy on you, but it's just easier. I'm telling you, it's just easier. I want. I applaud single mothers who can, who who can, and fathers. I don't want to, cause there are fathers who take care, who who do it alone as well. Well, well the primary caretaker, sure. Um, but it, it's it's a tough job doing it. I don't know if I could have done that raising my son on my own. But you do what you can. You do. You do, do what, what you, you have, have to, to do. do. And it, it's awesome if you can do it, but it's so much better to do it within the confines of a marriage. It just is, and and and, and nobody's and, and nobody's telling you that you're awful, you're terrible, but it is easier and better to do 
in the confines um, of, of a happy marriage. It just is. So, in any case, the idea is... I have is, two separate breaks. Yeah, yeah the, the idea is, is th- this whole idea of, of we're going to not live together so we can live together longer. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Uh, it is because again, like like we started with, if you're not working on your on your on, on your difficulties inside the confines of where those difficulties are going to be, how do you expect them to get better? Can't practice football on an ice skating rink because that's not where football takes place. What about a basketball? No, not even on a basketball court. You can pretend to, but that's not where it takes place. You've got to work it. You have to work the situation out in the environment where it's going to, t- where you're it's going, going to be. Where you're going to play. You're going to play in this environment. Um, so you, you, you need to practice in that environment. And if you're not in that environment, if you're in, the, and again, I don't want therapists calling me or counselors calling me, but if you're in the therapist's office or the, or the counselor's office, it's a controlled environment. That's not where you want, not where you have to practice this. You're going to have to practice this in the morning, when the toothpaste is, with the toothpaste is squeezed from the top. I'm just sort of spitballing some things that send people off. When the clothes are left on the floor. That's where you're going to have to practice all that stuff. That's where you're going to have to practice. Um, when you get up in the middle of the night. And the toilet seat is up, and you sit into the in water. the toilet. <laughs> That's where you're gonna have to. Practice. That's where you gotta practice it. You gotta practice it at home. You you can't practice it in the therapist's office where somebody else is taking care of everything and, and telling a, you how to feel. It's a calm environment. This is not where you're going to have to practice it. You're gonna have to practice it, you know, on the field, and to practice it in the stadium. And if you're not there. How are you going to practice it? It's like getting premarital, uh, marital, or premarital counseling advice from a celibate, non-married priest. <laughs> What's the point? Thank you, exactly. Philip. Exactly. That's exactly right. <laughs> what do they know? I mean, what have they experienced? What's the point? So the idea is, yes, you're going to have to work it out. Although we we are living more and more in a, in a culture that. Avoid conflict. Mm -hmm. We want to avoid conflict at all costs. Uh, Well, except on social media where we... we, we, Where we jump all over each other. Where people are terrible to one another. (laughs) People are terrible to one another on social media. Um, Calling for people's jobs. They should be fired. They should... Their show should be canceled. They should be unemployed and sick. And someone should... They should kill themselves. Uh, You know, other, other than social media... Uh, face-to-face confrontation is is not something that people want to do. Want to do? They avoid it, and and they hide behind on social media because it they don't have to confront you face to face. Yeah, they can just delete you or say what they want to say and go. Because I'll snooze you. Because I'll, I'll snooze you in a heartbeat. On Facebook, I will snooze you in a heartbeat. <laughs> like uh, thirty days, you know, I'll take. I can't take you for another month. Just, shh, shh. I'll hush you in a heartbeat. But, um, but, but, but Phil's right. You know, getting this this advice from from people who aren't who are celibate and non married, um, and getting it may some, not be the may answer. not may not be the answer. And separating um, to fix the problem may not be the answer. You're not going to come back to that house and have a new kitchen. And things bathroom. are going to be poof done. Because I was away, and this person is perfect now. Well, because we were separated for a while. You gotta take some time, time off. Time off. And while we were separated, I dated somebody. So I got some perspective. And by the way, I'm pregnant by them. So you created another problem for us? <laughs> and this is how people behave. And that's what happened. Hey Jess, this is how this is this is how people behave, and you're like, yeah, yeah. And you expect your marriage to work? 
Well, because and, you were separated for And they time. do because I think culture tells them that this is stuff you have to do. And, 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 and in all of this, uh, we have to get back to this is what the culture, things that, that the culture suggests as solutions. Um, and what we're suggesting is old fashioned, is old school, and people don't do that anymore. And people. That's just not reality, Mr. Willie. Except that it is everything. It is the reality. <laughs> I hardly ever look at much academically anymore because I'm too old for that. Uh, I, I just look at what people do. I just remember and comment on people, people, what I see people do. And if, if whatever they do, does, does it work? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what they're doing doesn't work. And what people are suggesting people do doesn't work. People get separated before they get divorced. Not all the time, but most of the time. Most of the time, a separation usually ends in a divorce. Yeah, yeah, you're not. That's exactly yeah. right. And and and, and Phil, you got it. As you were typing, we were saying the very same thing. The idea is that it is a try. It's not a try. It's not a trial separation. It's a trial divorce. Can I can I make it out there without this person? Separation is interning for a <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you so. know how you intern for a job and you're going to get that job? Well, you're interning for a divorce. Well, yeah. So, again, so if you're not built or if you don't think you're built or have all the information or if you don't think that you are going to be strong enough or you have all the tools um, to be married for a length of time, then you probably need to deal with that Till death do you part, and that. But I think people just say that they don't understand that that actually that that when you agree to that, that actually means something. You know what? That's why so many now. The end thing now is we're gonna write our own vows. Yeah, how well does that work, for people? <laughs> we're we're gonna say our own vows to each other, and not we don't want that old stuff that from the Bible. That works out well. <laughs> or not. At all. Or it's, a, it's, 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 it's a dismal failure. The idea is that if <clears throat> you're not going to commit to each other in a real way forever, then what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? It's like buying a puppy. It's planned sadness. It's planned grief. <laughs> You and animals. <laughs> well, you know. So I mean, they want a kitty. No, we don't want a kitty. <laughs> um, but um, the idea is, is that if you are going to treat your marriage like that, that's what you're doing. That is exactly what you are doing. Um, so I, 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 I'm really of the mind that if you, you're you're in your marriage and you, you hit a you, you hit a hard place. And there are tough times. Work it out. Get it worked out. There are tough times. And if you need help getting it worked out, do that for sure. Please do that for sure. Sometimes you do want to run. You know, but the idea is but that don't. that if you know if you're having trouble, uh, work get it worked out. And if you, have, and you need some help working it out, you need some you need somebody to come in and um, or you need somebody to talk to. Do, do that. that because counseling. We're not saying don't get counseling. Get no, counseling. Please. But don't separate. If that counsel, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it, if that counselor says y'all need some time apart, <coughs> get new counseling. Get other counseling. You can fire a counselor. You can, the, people don't think they can fire other counselors. Yeah, you, you hired them, fire them. Just say, no, nah, I don't think we're going to do that. Um, and and like I said, unless, unless there's, there's abuse. abuse, and you you know you <coughs> really need to be away from that person, you know, and and they're causing abuse to you or to your children. I mean, if this, you know, if yeah, if you're right. If there's some sort of physical danger going on, yeah, get the hell out of there. We've talked about that. We've talked about that too. Mm -hmm. If if you're under some physical danger, get out. Don't stay there thinking, oh, I'm going to be like my mom and daddy. I'm, I'm going to stay out. married for years and years. No, if he's beating your brains out, no. Coming home drunk every Friday night, going upside your head, leave. No. 
K. Carl Smith, my goodness gracious, we are blessed with the best right now. K. Carl Smith is in is in the house. K. Carl Smith is the um, one of the leaders of the Black Republican, uh, uh, the you know the Frederick Douglass Foundations. So uh, I worked with Carl for a while. Carl is awesome. Um, in any case, um, but the idea is that yeah, you got to work it out, and you've got to be strong enough to work it out. It's hard, and I, I'm gonna tell you, it can be hard. And that's okay, because but that's life. And that make and 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 the phrase that which does not kill you makes it you makes stronger. You. It's true. It's mm -hmm. true. Stay there. Fight it through. Fight for your marriage. How much is it worth to you? And I've said that before, right? How much is it worth? Is it I mean is it worth the relationship? All the things that bug you. Is it worth throwing the relationship away? The toothpaste, the sink, the you know the whatever the toilet seat. Snoring. I'm a snorer. I almost I think I still snore a little bit now. I had stopped for a while, but yeah, I mean that, those kinds of things. Is it worth a relationship? Is it really? Is your temporary? Hey, Terry. Physical comfort. Terry Desmond is, is the dad of uh, one of my uh, one of my former students. He and he and his wife have been married for a long time too. Hey Terry, how long you guys been married? They, they have two adult kids. They've been married for a long time. Um, you know the idea is that you have to work it out. Are oh, you getting a, you getting a spam call? Great. Uh, yeah, any spam calls? That's my boyfriend. Uh huh. But what if she doesn't love Coltrane? <laughs> well, then you have to find another tenor player. <laughs> yeah, switch it to Parker or uh, Sonny Stitt. On oh, listen on your uh, on your phone. <laughs> what if he doesn't listen, love okay. Coltrane? That's awesome. Philip, Philip, um, who's in the uh, uh, the Facebook chat room, is um, one of the best bass players in our area for sure. One of the best bass players I've ever worked with. So anyway, so that was what that question was. In any case, we, is it time to go? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, it's time to go. In any case, well, if you've got comments about separation. We can't stay on all day today like we did. No, because we were just hanging out. We had hours. Yeah, last week was good. We had hours. We don't have hours. We have minutes. All right, listen, if you've got any comments, any questions any, any uh, about separation, Please leave them in the comments below, either here on Facebook or, more importantly, please leave them out there on on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, like, hit the notification bell. Smash, lo smash, the, smash that bell. <laughs> smash that bell. Uh, leave comments there. Share these videos with your friends or even your enemies. Um, <laughs> just to annoy them. What the heck? Uh, we really appreciate that. And uh, we'll be back. Um, in 167 hours, that's a week from now, and uh, chances are we'll be right here because we both have to work next week too. All right, until we see you again. Go out there and learn something, love Maybe. somebody. And are you working next week? Is it the fourth next week? No. July fourth? No. No, because I have my jury duty. Thing. Oh, that's right. I may have to do this by myself. Like the last time you had jury duty. Y'all know how that went. Anyway, um, till we see you again, go out there and learn something, love everybody, for goodness sakes. Y'all take care. Have to remember this. We love you, and there's nothing, nothing you can do about, about it. it. Till we, til we see you again. Love you. Peace.